Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Now we're on to episode four. Alan, shh, baby. What? It was just a nightmare. Was it just a nightmare? Alice. I doubt it was just a nightmare. I doubt. What the Heart. fuck? I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What, what? the hell are you doing right here? Now it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for what? A while. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Schizophrenia? It's no. okay, Alan. Just God. let go. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Okay, I have no idea where I am. Please don't tell me I actually am schizophrenic and I'm just losing my mind! I felt groggy. Oh shit! Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. Send that IV bag! I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Well, couldn't you got focus. your book. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Huh. Do I have them? I have them. I should. Yeah, I've got them. I can still read them, so... Okay, then. Where is here? That's a better question. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Hello? Housekeeping? Can I get out, please? Hello? Oh. Hey. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better Slightly. now? Slightly. Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> I get the message. Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. Why? Oh, he's missing now. That's is the bow tie. The spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of yeah. me. Yeah. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? Do I have much of a choice? I'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Mm. Yes, it will do you good. Quick question. How did you get that shiner on your nose? I'm pretty sure I am the reason that happened at the police station. Now, where is here? It's a fair question. Uh, he got his own monkey at the ready. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here booga, right booga. now. Jack took them out for a fishing, fishing trip, trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet uh -huh. you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control. Hey, you keep watching me, together. you big monkey. This way, Alan. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Is he gonna follow? He's not gonna follow, thank you. What's over here? A bear. And a maze. Ooh. This is like this is like the shine up in here. Is there any other secrets I could find, perhaps? What about here? Nope. Bottom floor, please, Jeeves. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as uh -huh. I can after an episode. an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is... Uh, okay, she's no. not. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. How did she drown, huh? face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking... An obsession about can I get my can I get my manager? Can I get Barry here? Everything revolves around Never I say those words, but yeah, I want Barry here. Dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. <sighs> But under the influence of the drug oh. he had given me, I had to fight not to I thought to that was a page right there. No, it's just a tile. 
So I have to play along, otherwise he's gonna drug me again. Great! It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Not yet! Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy? Actually, the supernatural conspiracy sounds mind? more normal than your gibberish. By nature, Alan, we both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Uh -huh. Got a sundial here. Can I just push him off the cliff? Can I just do that? Please tell me I can do that. See you later, Doc! I've got a trip to find. I got my girlfriend to. Not, I can't say it right! I got my wife to find. I'll ruin my own joke. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Uh huh. Golden Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now All there right, the way over there. It seems there's a storm coming. Really? Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, no matter. This way. Follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Mm. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After that all, that sounds like it's getting worse. This should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying, or because you don't want to admit that you're not? You're lying. lying. It's very natural for you to think of me as your. You enemy. are my enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his Clearly he does. His words echoed madly inside Ooh, a thermos. my head. I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. <sighs> Come along. Let's go in. That poor moose. What the hell? Hello, monkey. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff uh -huh. only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. Nature's got to catch up and kill you. Karma, bitch. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Hello, nurse. How are you? Scary, scary, scary. Who's saying that? Uh, okay. I'm not going in, you monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tweaky. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. Uh -huh. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Really? It's yeah. trash. Hey! Course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic Listen methods. here, you. Video games are no an kidding. art form. Many games are beautiful. Some can be brought to teach children, like Minecraft. Others tell great stories, like Undertale. And others are just fun, like I had in time. I'm just showing out everything. You, you have a beautiful singing voice, madam. What's over here? An artist? Hello, sir. What are you drawing? Oh, hello. What the heck? you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. What's not that squeaky noise? wanted me to paint landscapes, and oh. that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. Really? He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. 
Well, I think it's good. It's horrifying, but good. Also, I see the two old folks in there. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Yeah. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Well, uh, good luck to you, buddy. I'm gonna go see my old friends. They got a mallet. Hey ya. Hello. Go in there. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Really? As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've probably been selling my work as well. Like, here's my doctorist thing. Jackass. Hello, boys. How are you? My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Amen, brother. And Amen. These two are the Anderson We've brothers, met. Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s Rock and on! 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. I'm guessing the one with the eye patch is Odin, and he's Thor. Dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, so God. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to uh -huh. write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Jackass. Can I borrow that mallet and hit him on the head with it? I'd like to bash his head in with a hat. You've got one, buddy. Oh, hit it. Hit him in the head. Fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Rock on! Yeah. Crazy's a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard Thank in a while. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for what? you. What? Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Gave him a rash where? My head. Yeah, I've got to read this first. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Emil, hmm. clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Yeah, they do, and they rock on, too. Oh, he looks like he's ready. He's really jumpy. Now look at him. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't Tweak, be quiet. I need to listen to this. I'm in charge. I'll do that, Birch. I don't want to disappear. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. Uh huh. You can get to your room by those stairs, wake. Then why do we have to go out that way? We could just came down the. Uh, never mind. Guess I got no other choice but to go to the typewriter. But while I'm up here, oh! Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped <laughs> in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. She's behind There's you. A hole in her chest where her heart should be. 
<laughs> I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Is it just me, or, or shouldn't they have done this entire game in a real engine? Like, not, um... What's the thing that's used for when you get... It's something like Toonstruck. Like, uh, you take real characters, but you put them into a scenario like this. I feel like they should have done that. Have real characters. They got real actors to do those parts. Why not just have real actors doing this part? I mean, it doesn't... I, I've not had any choices of that, so it looks all scripted. Would make a brilliant point and click. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Ah! Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Where's the key then? I'm gonna have to find it, aren't I? Also, there is a bird. Kaka! It's an owl! Ho! 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 Yeah! So wait, what was the point of going here then? There was no point of going that way if this way led straight to the. Uh, never mind. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Really? Why is he watching me? Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Uh -huh. Be cool, okay? Jackass. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Do I have anything I can use as a weapon? What are they doing down there? Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Well, things are unraveling. Oh, well, there's a page. I didn't even notice that. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. So Barry's been here, he's been trying to find me! <laughs> it's my store! I'm taking it! Where are it. they? Can't go that way. We're on a comeback tour, baby! Might as well see what the whole hubbub is. Sinclair looked bad. Oh, God. I loved him. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office with it from Sinclair. How's it going, monkey? You didn't have to hit her so hard. Oh, they used an actual hammer on her, too. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping Well, it should be this way, then. Don't typers, oh my god. Hartman, where are you? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on now, Mrs. Wake. For a moment, Can you tell I couldn't about believe Alan's it. Problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. I'm an artist! I'm, I'm an artist! No, no, I make books in that, I have the right. No. Really fond of your phobia of the dark. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, Doctor. Well, 
if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very uh -huh. best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Love you too. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. These uh, drawings are real interesting. Also, I see this page. That's always out of place. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. He wants the manuscript for some reason. Why is everyone's obsession with my freaking manuscripts? Barry? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad. I never to see thought you. I'd miss you. Give me a you hug. Get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's yes. trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, <laughs> or else I'd sue their asses. You do as you do. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy. No ass. shit, he's clear, he go, crazy. And then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's, what's with the cut? Yeah, why does? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. Oh, really? Her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. First things first. This thermos out the way, Barry. Now we get the manuscript pieces. There they are. And oh my gun! Lovely. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Oh no. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the- Shoot him anyway! Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. What? You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! I need to have a low word with a good doctor. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely- No, the mistake was I only punched you! Okay, that's gotta hurt. That is the grin of a man who's murdered someone. Okay. I don't have a flashlight. Oh god. I had to find a way out. Alright, but the first thing starts, I got more manuscript pieces, so. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Damn good flares! Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Dude has obsession problems. Oh, Mowdy! Oh, no. Wait, can I not go out that way? Uh. I need to find a flashlight now! What the hell? Oh, God, no! Oh, no, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming! Get me the hell out of here! Oh, Lords! Light, 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 light! There we go, there we go! Beautiful, isn't it?
gotta go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Woohoo, lords! Okay, no! Come on, move it, Alan! Where the hell can I go? That, that's like the freaking poltergeist up in here! Oh, bears. I got six bullets to my name. What do I do? What do I do? It's flare! That's what I'm meant to do. Good old flare! Goodbye, bears. Page Reedy. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. A producer? Of course. Suitable subjects were few and far in between. Huh. Now run! Oh. Jesus Mary of Christ! I need to go somewhere. I need to go somewhere. Oh, uh, no. He's gonna... That's gonna break through. Well, it broke through. See ya! When will be ya? Uh-oh. Oh, okay! Let's play a game of wrecking ball, shall we? He's coming in like a wrecking ball! And I'm getting the hell out of here! Run, Alan, run! Barry? I'm here. Give me that flashlight! I need it more than you, man! Gates locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over oh, there. Oh God. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Take this, Al. <laughs> but famous last words. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Oh my God. Nope. 